going to get there in just a second. I'll get ahead of myself. We're going to go to the color attribute from the file folder. We're going to go to Saturn map and hit open. And then we'll go ahead and drag that one onto the Saturn planet. All right, so now here's where it gets a little bit different. We're going to go to the shader. Nothing's going to be different here. We're going to pass the shader just the same. Um, but we're going to call this one set ring. Okay. Hold middle mouse button, drag that on there already. Not going to make a difference. You're not going to see that until I put the texture on there. But go to the file folder. And we're going to go to Saturn ring color and hit open. Okay. So now here presents the problem. Um, but you're seeing here, there's a seam here. And you're also seeing that the colors are kind of going away in these uh, bars of color rather than rings around the ring. Um, and that's an issue. And what that is, is that the UVs aren't facing the right direction. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of UV texture editing here. So this is going to be a toe dip into the UV texture editor. So we're going to go ahead and select our ring and we're going to go to the UV texture editor. And we can get to the UV texture editor in two ways. One, we can click on this icon on the shelf. This will bring us directly to the UV texture editor. Or if you want to change your hyper shading to the UV texture editor, we can do that as well. I'm going to go the secondary route because I want to keep this all on the same screen. If I do this, I'll pop it over onto my second screen. And that doesn't really help you guys a whole bunch and just kind of looks like it fills too much of the screen. So all that aside, I'm just going to save the hassle. Go to panels, panel, and down at the very bottom, you'll see the UV editor. So let's go there. Okay. And here you'll see this one by one Cartesian looking system going on right here. Okay. And in the middle, you can see obviously here's our texture. And in white, you'll see our UV shell. Okay. Now, if I zoom all the way out, this is starting to look much more like a Cartesian system. Um, some things you might want to know is that these uh, go infinitely in all directions, meaning that I can scale this and it'll tile out. Um, so what I need to do, and the reason why this is having an issue, is you can see that this UV shell is facing the wrong direction. It needs to be facing the same way as the lines, not against them. So I'm going to hold down right mouse button on top here, and we get a couple different options. We have UV shell, we have UV, and they give us the regular components too of edge, vertex, and face. Now we haven't really gotten too much into these yet. We're going to get into those at a later lesson. But suffice it to say that um, that vertex and UV are very similar, except for vertex will allow you to move things in a 3D space, where UVs allow you to move the UVs in UV space. And UVs um, are basically just the texture direction. So um, if I go ahead and select these guys, it shows you all the different corner bits. And you can see them highlighting here in the 3D space. But I can't actually move them in 3D space. I don't want to either. Um, this is just texture information. Um, but if it was in vertex, I could move these in 3D space, um, but that's besides the point. What I'm most interested in is actually the shell, which will allow me to select all of the UVs at the same time. Of course, I can go like this and select all the UVs at the same time. But for speed's sake and for when you have more than one shell in your object, clicking on UV shell will allow you to move the entire object and select the entire shell very easily inside the UV space. Okay, so enough talk. Let's go ahead and rotate this thing. So I'm going to hit E for rotate, and it'll give you a little bit of a different looking gizmo because you can't rotate it in all axes. You can only rotate it around the Y here. So I'm just going to rotate it. You can see it rotating in the viewport. Okay, there we go. Now it's facing the right direction, and the rings are going all the way around. Now part of the problem we're still facing is that we don't have all the texture in here. So what I need to do is I need to scale this up so that it is going to encompass all of the edges over here. So I'm going to have R for scale, and I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to keep scaling until these left and right edges meet the edge of the Cartesian one by one area. Now, of course, if I scale further, it'll continue going, but um, really is all I'm after is this one set here because after this, it starts to repeat. Going vertically, it's going to be the same because infinitely in all directions, if the lines are vertical, they're going to go infinitely with that same color in that same direction. So you can see over here that these rings don't vary at all as it goes around the surface, which is good. This is what I want. Okay, 
So next bit is that I do want to add one extra thing to the shader that's controlling this ring. I'm going to go to my panels and go to panel and bring back my hypershade. So here we go, hypershade right here. I'm going to click on the one that says uh, sat ring. And I want to add some transparency to the ring so that you can see the plant through it slightly. So on the transparency attribute right below the color where we have that shader or that uh, texture map we just piped in, um, I'm going to go to the transparency and just dial it up to where I can start to see the plant through it. There we go. That looks good. Okay. I'm content with that and ready to move on. Okay, we have a few more plants left, and we'll go ahead and move through these kind of quickly. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go to Lambert 9 here with the color attribute for it. Go to File, Folder. And underneath Saturn Map. I'm sorry, not Saturn. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot which planet this one is. It's Uranus. Okay, my bad. There we go. We're going to delete this one off. Make sure we call it Uranus so I don't forget again. Call this guy over. Click on the folder. We're going to go to Uranus. We're going to hit open, and then we'll just take Uranus and drag it on. Okay, so the following one is Neptune. I think that's where I got slipped up a little bit. And then we're going to go to Lambert. I'm going to call this one Neptune underscore. Go ahead and drag this one on here. And I'm going to go to the folder and find the Neptune texture. There we go. And the last one is Pluto. So let's create one more Lambert for Pluto. Click on the texture, go file, folder, and there's Pluto, our last one. There we go. Now I can go ahead and exit out my hypershade. We are good to go. Okay, our whole solar system is now textured and ready to go. Um, so in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and prep this thing for animation. We're going to get the, the animation through hierarchy set up, and then we'll do some finishing touches and get it ready for our final render. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.